What is up, peeps? This is Fullerwin TCG, and I'd like to bring you back to another YouTube video. And today, we're checking out a bit of an old school fighter. A bit of a tall boy, if I do say it here myself. That was a bit weird, but we uh, the, the show must go on, right? Now, of course, before I show you the card and we start discussing the deck and getting into some gameplay, please do quickly enjoy this sponsor's message. And after that, we'll get into the nitty and gritty. So do stick by, and I'll see you in a second. Are you looking for Pokemon codes? If so, please check out pdcgostore.com and use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout. What a deal. They always have sales, of course, which is great uh, for when you're looking around and trying to snack some packs up to build that collection that you're looking for. If you do have the finances and you are able to do so, please do visit ptcgostore.com to grab yourself some codes. With that all said though, of course, please do enjoy the video. Thank you very much for sticking by. So the deck that we are covering today is Alolan Eggman. The non-GX version. This deck had a pretty good time at some point during the TCG, but its lifespan wasn't very long lived. As a result of power creep, this deck has definitely fallen out of favor. Uh, because the thing is, the, the thing that really worked with this deck was its ability to tank even though it was a single prize pokemon and also two shot quite comfortably and um, being able to hit 120 140 with um I've completely forgotten the, the, the card's name and i feel bad about that but uh you know what i mean <laughs> that's a damage amplification for it and of course being able to tank damage um, was really good for its level however it just doesn't, the damage is too too small nowadays, and the HP one prize thing, it's not really that great now because of the elder ADP, uh, he who shall not be named. But alas, we're going to see, is it a deck that is worth just messing around with on the ladder? Is it something that you just want to try out and mess around with if you're a bit bored? Um, so we're going to be going into a game today and seeing if we can grab a win with this deck. Let's revive the bad boy. Uh, this deck is, of course, uh, an up-to-date list, so if you are a fan of Eggman and want to mess around with it again, Again, the list is in the description for you to grab and try out for yourself. I'm quite excited to try this out and see how it goes. It is very dependent on the deck we come up against. One deck we just cannot beat is ADP. Now, we are pretty good against ADP itself, but Zacian, no. <laughs> Zacian just tears through it. And as I said, the fact that this deck is no longer, if you again, only if you play an ADP matchup, the fact that this deck is no longer a one prize high HP tanking Pokemon, it loses its selling feature, right? The reason why people would play it. If ADP wasn't around, I can guarantee you this deck would still be doing its thing. Um, but it definitely has fallen out of favor as a result. Um, but it's still a high HP single energy attacking card. That makes it good. There's another card that can do that nowadays and that's actually pretty decent and has recovered a little bit. Um, and that deck I'll be covering soon. Um, Big difference between that and this one is the deck that I'm talking about, the latter one, can one-shot an ADP quite easily. Which is a big deal. I know I say ADP a lot, but we have to recognize that that card is just busted in every way and is a deck you're going to see no matter where you go in a tournament. So you have to make sure you can you can not, not necessarily counter it, but play against it. You can win against it. Um, and your odds are better than 50%. <laughs> So, you know, a lot of people are just like, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. And I can't blame it. I honestly can't blame that mentality. So it's the same as Zorak, right? If you can't beat them, join them. I get it. I get it. Uh, but nonetheless, this doesn't seem to be that kind of matchup. This, however, does seem to be... Oh, it's... It, oh, I thought this was going to be like a Mew Free deck because Psychic Mew Free is pretty good. But it is just a... It looks like a Trevnar deck, um, which is interesting to see. Nonetheless, we'll put you down. We'll get the energy... Going in that discard pile. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to be looking over there a couple of times, by the way, people, because I am changing up my recording method a little bit here. Hopefully it works. Um, but long story short, let's play the acro bike. Because I want to use the quick ball. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I actually wanted a quick ball specifically for that. So we're going to throw you. It doesn't matter where I put you. We'll throw you there for now. Maybe I should have thrown it on the active. I don't know. Let's Cynthia and see what we get. Oh, yes, a bit of a shrine. Look at you. Gorgeous. Oh, the setup play here is great. Oh, I've got a moth. You are, hey, hey. Okay, see you later. Um, do we need another shackle? Let's not be that hasty now. I mean, look at that. Acrobite. I, I will save that. I think I was a bit too hasty there with that Acrobite. I think we need to find a supporter card, so I will just pass. Right. With that, yeah, I'm, I'm using the OBS, which is what I used to record my gameplay uh, not a while ago, but a short while ago. Um, 
if that made any sense, uh, to record my gameplay. And I'm using Bandicam, which is the stuff I used to use to record recently, um, to record the, the webcam. And there's a reason for that, because I was using Bandicam recently and it made the webcam just so much better, so much more fluent um, in its frame rate and stuff. And I thought that was great. However, there was a bit of a trade-off, a bit of a, a sad trade-off which was that the gameplay itself was choppy and I, I didn't like that and I couldn't find a way around it. So I've decided to record the gameplay of the OBS because that seems to be the best place to record the gameplay for me now and the webcam with Bandicam and things seem to be going well. Um, it is quite taking a bit of a toll on my computer, but we'll see. Let's play, shall we? That's the point. Uh, we'll get ourselves... It's in deck. Get ourselves... We'll get an Alteria, right? We're going to need to do some good damage, so we'll get that out. And hopefully we get a draw supporter. Oh, 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 gorgeous. This is going to be important. So I'm not playing the quick ball now. Um, obviously, we only have four Lonely Executor to attack with. So, you know, recovering some would be a good shout. Big problem here, though, is we don't have the grass energy to attack, which is a shame. But we'll, we'll, we'll keep fishing. We'll keep looking. Keep her going. And we'll go for a Pokemon catcher. Hopefully we hit the grass and netball. Oh, look at that. That is just poetic. All right, hidden. Go in, tropical shake, take that bad boy out, and we are running, running smoothly. What a nice setup so far in this deck. That's that's absolutely awesome. Great stuff, great stuff. All right, so they're gonna Trevnoir here. Um, thankfully, not take us out. We can tank this, but shuffle cards in hand. Yeah, mm, not a fan. Isn't it three? No, two. So hopefully they don't hit the research. Don't you dare shuffle the research. Oh, they got the re- Stop it. Okay, now we're top deck. We are top deck territory, which is what this um, this deck is all about, to be fair. So I'm not complaining. They're, they're kind of functioning, although they have a lot of limitations. I, I am getting top deck magic right now. This is awesome. Okay, keep it moving. I'm not complaining one bit. Let's... We'll have to let this alone executor go down next term. But that is a price I'm willing... Sorry, is it, is it, that is a price I'm willing... That is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. There we go. There's the Shrek reference. Okay. My video is now complete. <laughs> that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. See you later, mate. You did well. Um, and we'll come up with these bad boys. Hopefully get another shrine to drop this uh, the labs. Um, but it doesn't seem to be that crazy right now. The shrine was more for higher HP stuff. Um, and if we wasn't able to get the Alteria out. But dropping that and allowing us to have a bit more tankiness to us. Does it really offer much? I, I I don't know. I don't know. Stop getting rid of my researches, man. Um, yeah, I don't know if it offers much because regardless, they're two-shotting us. So, you know, here's what it is, right? Let's ditch this and hopefully get another god top two. No, we don't. Yeah, okay, sure. But at least I can shuffle, shuffle the deck by doing that. So the top deck is not going to be an incense, which is good. And we can get that one ready to go to come in. Tropical Shake, take that nice and cheeky knockout. And get three cards out of that as well. Awesome. Awesome. This deck, this, this, this game's going really quick for us. Really, really quick for us. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Now we can drop the labs, which is... Ah, uh, again. It's good for the balloons, right? It allows us to retreat. So, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. Um, I'm trying to change my philosophy a bit in whole switch plays and, and the retreat options we now have in the format. Obviously, switch seems to be something that a lot of decks are still playing, um, even when they're not playing Jirachi. Oh, we got the win! Yeah! Let's go to another one, baby. Yeah, so what was I, what was I saying? Uh, decks that even, aren't even playing Jirachi play switch and stuff. I kind of want to go back to the old school days. I I'm, I'm, guess I'm treating Air Balloon as if it's Floatstone, right? Um, being able to attach it to Pokemon with like one retreat, two retreat cost. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And um, the fact that we can attach it to an Altaria or something that will sit on the bench or a Shuckle that's going to be on the bench. Absol still won't remove that free retreat. So it's technically a, a, a Floatstone. Will that idea last? Probably not because we have that stadium that increases retreat costs. So that's a bit of an issue um, when it comes to it. So I think Switch will still be seeing play. But if that stadium wasn't up, coming up, I would really be championing the whole treating an Air Balloon like a Floatstone and you know playing it back in the day where I remember where Switches were just... Pointless, useless cards. No one played a Switch. Why? Because you had Floatstone. You didn't need the Switch plays. So I was kind of treating it like that. And I am until the new set comes out. But when the new set comes out, I'll probably go back to the Switch stuff. Um, because, yeah, that stadium. Yeah, well, I guess it depends how much that stadium sees play, sees play. So, you know, there, there, there's that as well. But it should because of my logic. So, you know. Oh, boy. Are we really going there? Are we? <sighs> We're playing around Google Control, people. 
We are playing a Ranguru control. Okay. Not so great if I do say so myself. We'll go for a shuckle. I have no idea what accent that is, but please. I don't know what to do here, to be honest with you. I mean, we're limited in energy source. And again, probably one another reason why this deck's not really, you know, shouting so loud on top of the tournament um, rankings. But let's just let's just see how this fares. It's a disadvantage from the get go. But uh, we will we will commit. We will commit to the game. And do we really need to play this Cynthia? We have what we need. We do have what we need. So let's. But the Cynthia will let us see more cards. No, let's pass. I'm confident in getting that grass energy. We've got the netballs for it. It's six outs to a grass energy. Not the best, but I'm confident. And I want to take this Aranguru out before they get the chance to set things up and go for things. Because again, this deck likes to go into some sort of uh, loop. It likes to have the two Aranguru. Um, sorry, it likes to mill you out for the time being. This is what I figured playing against this. So I don't, I, I don't play this deck, so I could be wrong. But it likes to mill you out using its um, uh, Pokédolls. That's it. See, they're doing it. Using their Pokédolls to tank a few hits while they mill you down. And then recover. Go in a whole Oranguru loop where they just recover Oranguru plus this. Play the whole Lieutenant Surge and just mill you out to game. Right? That's what they want to do. There was a way I figured out to kind of counter this deck. Um, but it means taking a card in a deck that you're not really going to play much or in most games but i will get into that in another deck soon i will bring it up soon but there is a way i've managed to deal with this deck and it, it does have a bit of luck <laughs> in it which isn't great but it's still an option anyway let's keep as much in, in our deck as we can that's going to be valuable so i'm not going to play cards that i don't need to play i do however want the energy and that's where i need to kind of play this there we go okay so we're gonna net i've still got the moth flying around Hello. Hey, yo. Okay, no, don't come too close. Don't come too close. Okay, no. I'm recording, okay? Later, right? Um, let's go for the... We get the KO here, which is big boy play, if I do say so myself. So we'll do that. And we won't be hasty. We will hold the hand. Take a Tropical Shake KO. Sweet. I'm liking that. That's looking sweet. Take it slow. That's the way to play. Um, but yeah, there, there's a card that you can take into a deck that can definitely... Get you a cheeky little win if you manage to pull it off against this deck in just by playing the card. You can just win. So it's something that I, I would definitely um, consider playing in your decks. But as I said, I'll bring it up in a video this week. So if you want to find out, stay tuned. <laughs> and I'm not doing that because <laughs> I'm not doing that because I'm trying to get... Oh, a Ranguru control? Quit on me? Ah. Oh. I feel privileged. I feel like I've just gone up a level. Alrighty, so we managed to bag a couple wins in this video, which is great. We beat Trevnoir and we also beat Oranguru, albeit they both didn't really set up to the best that those decks can. So we have to bear that in mind. Is this deck something that can definitely take uh, the ladder by storm again? I do personally doubt it. I have to be honest with you here. As much as it doesn't sound as hype as it could, I don't think this is something that's going to see a lot of play for the time being. Um, ADP just wrecks it. Oranguru Control just wrecks it. I know we beat it, but we have to bear in mind they didn't really set up well. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of top tier stuff just walks over this deck and just completely devalues what it was good at. So, you know, that's just the case, I'm afraid. However, on a ladder in tier two territory, definitely something you can mess around with. If you want to play this deck again, by all means, go for it. I've got no problem with that. But with that said, of course, do leave a like if you did enjoy and please do subscribe for more. But uh, with that all said, until next time, take care of yourself and peace.